Hello, everybody. Well, I'm very excited today because I have a lovely guest and I am interviewing the amazing Carol Galanders, who is a fundraising consultant who is on the Sales Made Simple Mastermind. So I wanted to um, speak to Carol today because I think as, as you'll ex see from when Carol um, explains her journey, um, it's been a bit of a journey for you and it's been quite an exciting one watching you build your business. So I just wanted to have a chat with you really about building your business. So before we get going, I don't want to hog the mic. Um, tell us a little bit about your business now that you're up and running and what you do and, and what you're all about. Okay, so um, I work with charities to help them reach their potential, really. So, I mean, my expertise is major donor fundraising. So that's working with high wealth individuals, looking for the big numbers. That's where all my experience is. But charities call me in to do a number of different things. So it might be looking at their fundraising strategy, helping develop and train their team, or it might be a particular project that they, they've got an issue with. Or it might start off as one thing and move on to being something completely different, you know. Um, but yeah, but that's that's my business and that's what I do. And on on the program in the mastermind, we talk about like the importance of having a why and um, you know that kind of motivation because inevitably business has its ups and downs. And so, what would you say is your like? Why did you start your business? What what is your big why? Um. I, <sighs> There's a couple of whys, isn't there? But I suppose the big one. So that I'd been working as an employee for a number of years. And so working, managing teams, um, but inevitably, you know, being managed as well and being employed, being an employee. Um, but I think I am quite entrepreneurial. That makes me good at what I do anyway. But it means I'm always spotting an opportunity. And so I think there there came a point where I just thought I'd like to be doing something for myself and I'd like to make it all balance out and do the bits of the job that I really enjoy doing and not so much the stuff that perhaps I don't enjoy doing. And I'd got to a, a point in my career where I just felt I was grown up enough and experienced enough to be able to make those decisions and, and just take the leap. I, I always say to people, is there ever a good time? I don't know. Sometimes you just got to hold your nose and jump, haven't you? And I think, that's kind of what I did. Yeah. It's like kids, isn't it? You never you're never ready yeah. for kids. It's you just do it and you kind of you fathom it out. You wing it. Way. You wing it. You <laughs> wing it. Absolutely. Um, so what was it about Sales Made Simple that made you join? I suppose where where were you before you joined Sales Made Simple? What was it that you were like, I'm gonna join? So I'd been a consultant on and off for a couple of years, and I'd always been tempted back into other jobs because those other jobs had, you know, the consultancy work had dipped a bit. Those other jobs had come along and they were bright and shiny and offering, you know, security and stability and all of those sorts of things. And then I thought, no, this, you know, this is what I want to do. And, you know, you're always there, Helen. You know, one thing you very, you, you always are is visible. And I've been following you for years and, and you know, seeing your journey as well. And I think you sent out um, a post and maybe an email as well about Sales Made Simple at the point that I was thinking, oh, you know, where, where's the next job going to come from? I know, I know I'm good. I know I can do what I do. I know I've got some really good clients and good recommendations, but it's that thing about just knowing that, you know, there's not going to be a couple of gaps. And if I'm going to invest in myself um, and, and sort of plan ahead for when those gaps happen, now's the time to do it. Mm. And what was it, um, I mean, you, you know, in the group, I'm always talking about like normalizing our fears and, mm. um, you know, being really honest about my own fears and, and you know, making it, making it normal to be scared about mm. stuff. What would you say your biggest fears were about working for yourself? I mean, there's 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 lots, I think. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I found fascinating about Sales Made Simple that perhaps I didn't expect was the whole think about thing about my chimp and understanding my my chimp. That was that was a total eye opener 
life changer for me um, because although I knew I wasn't the only person who had imposter syndrome, to actually sort of feel it identified in that way made it so much more understandable. So specifically for me, I think it was, am I clever enough? Are people going to think I'm, you know, I think are people going to think, who does she think she is? You know, I worked with her 20 years ago and she was only this then. Um, so a lot of it was around the, who does she think she is? Yeah. Um, fear and, and being good enough you know, feeling the responsibility of, of clients paying me to do a job and doing it well enough. And then once I'd done it, then being happy, because if they weren't happy, they might tell everybody that I was rubbish. Yeah. And do you not find it funny as well that like we're in the group? So self made simple, there's uh, the training part, but then there's the Facebook uh, group part, the community part. Mm. And you know, I say funny, but um, the fears that you've shared there, were pretty common across every everybody's group. Yeah. And yeah. you, you feel was, alone, don't you, with the, the, these fears, but... Yeah, that was what was so reassuring, though. You know, it was like, oh, I thought it was just me. Yeah. I thought I was the only one who felt like that. Although you know you're not, but when you actually start talking to other people who are going through exactly the same thing at exactly the same time, and sometimes, you know, I might have ideas that could help them. Yeah. And they might have ideas that could help me or we just say the right thing to each other to, you know, to to sort of encourage each other. But, um, yeah, everybody's everybody's feeling the same. Yeah. And it's the, the, the reason I set it up the way I did was because it was it was almost like the thing I didn't have when I first started my business. And it can feel so alone, can't it, when you think, yeah. you know, I'm the only one and, um, you know, everybody on Instagram's ahead of me and they're all doing really well and you know, you're seeing the best day. And I think what the group has allowed us to do, and I share, you know, I've been in there, I've cried in the group, I've shared my fears and my aha moments. Um, but just that that idea that actually this is normal, it's normal to feel like this, it's normal to go through those struggles. And, you know, when we talk about that chimp, the, the chimp, you know, for those that have never heard about it, it's, it comes from the chimp paradox. Uh, so my model, it's just a model that I found incredibly useful. Um, and obviously helps the, the people I work with, but just to understand like why we doubt ourselves, wh where that comes from, um, so that we can manage all of that. And it's just incredibly, it's almost like therapeutic having the group to yeah. go, this is what I'm struggling with. And you can see people do lives and go, I'm struggling with this today, da 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 da. And by the end of it, going, I've almost sorted my own problem out just by talking. Yeah. It's so powerful. Yeah, it's a totally safe space. That's how it feels that I can say, and maybe because I don't actually know these people in person. Um, you know, I'm not going to bump into them in the shops or in the pub or whatever. Um, that you feel comfortable, or I feel comfortable saying things to them that maybe I would hesitate to say to anybody else in my life. And, yeah. you know, I also, you know, you're asking about fears. It's me and social media, not a clue. Not a clue. So I'm okay with LinkedIn, but you know, you start talking about Instagram and I can just about manage Facebook, but my children would really rather I wasn't on it. Um, <laughs> so, you know, the first time I did a, a live into our Facebook group, I was convinced I was broadcast into the entire world. And I was waiting for, you know, my children to kind of say, mum, get off it. What are, what are you saying? But actually I'm only, you know, when you do those, those Facebook lives to the group, you're only talking to the group, but it's also really good practice and you get to understand why those lives are so useful to do to the whole world or to, you know, to your following. So I think the other thing that Sales Made Simple helped me with was taking away that fear. And I'm not on Instagram. My clients wouldn't find me on Instagram. To be honest, they don't really find me on Facebook. They find me on LinkedIn yeah, and that's okay. So just because I'm not on the other platforms, don't stress about the one that I'm on. Just concentrate on that, and that's yeah. fine. And that, that's the other thing that I, I, you know, it really helped me with. So you're talking about social media there and, you know, getting over that kind of fear. But what, what has been, um, I suppose, what has been most useful about Sales Made Simple? Oh, so that's a... It, it's, it's been so useful on so many levels, Hevel, Helen. So, like I say, the community group, support 
has been totally unexpected and totally amazing. Having you there, and I, you know, I think I've said to people before, I'm used, I'm used to managing a team or being part of a team. And then you start running a business and your team is you. Yeah. And you've got those people in your life who love you going, oh, what if it's giving you that amount of stress? Do you really need it? And all of that. Whereas I now feel I've got a team and yeah. you're very much part of my team and you hold me accountable, but you also encourage me and, you know, make me do better than perhaps I would do if I was if I was here on my own thinking oh look you know placing the sun's on now maybe I'll nip downstairs and and watch that so you know yeah it's oh I totally relate totally relate yeah so so as well as as well as the the stuff that I thought I was going to learn which is how to get in front of clients and how to get more sales you know that, that stuff I didn't expect, the, spe- the stuff I perhaps was looking for was how do you convert, you know, a lead into a sale? And that's what we've, we've covered as well. And again, it's not rocket science when you, when you, um, you know, you're told you kind of know what to do. It's just somebody telling you to do it in a structured fashion and telling you to get on with it and do it because yeah. that's what you need to do. Absolutely. And that's why I called it Sales Made Simple, because, you know, I, I mean, you know this story, but, you know, I've worked in sales for 20 odd years and I, I just find that people just overcomplicate it all yeah. the time. And I think in session one, I said to everybody, um, I'm not going to tell you anything that you don't actually know. Um, mm. I'm not going to give you some secret. I'm not going to give you some formula that nobody else knows about. It's just this is why I do this, the mindset and the sales together, because I think you need a sales strategy, you need a process, you need to know how to sell. Like you say, you need to know how to track leads and how to convert them into um, clients. But I can teach you that in a day. You know, I, yeah. I, I do strategy days where I teach, teach people to do it in a day. But that's not, for me, that's not the problem. It's the, it, it's the chimp, it's the mindset, it's the imposter syndrome, it's that unhelpful voice. It's like you say, there's distractions in life. You know, there's place in the sun and walks and errands to do <laughs> and things that you know our fear takes over and we think there's a million and one things that we should be doing but it's just that consistency isn't it it's doing the right things every day and even though you think well I think I need to do this I think I need to do a video and I need to do this but you're not quite sure so you end up doing everything just to cover all bases and then you realize actually I could cut my workload in half yeah, by just yeah. focusing on the right things and doing those consistently every day and the more you do it, the easier it becomes and the quicker it becomes as well. So, you know, I've just been out for a walk now and, and I was just pinging on my on LinkedIn easily, you know, because LinkedIn is now showing me my clients. Yes. It's it's understood who I want to be in front of. Oh, and so is. it's coming to me rather than me having to go to it. Brilliant. So, yeah. Brilliant. And this this is what I said, wasn't it? And again, week one, it was we're gonna we're gonna put everything in place so that you don't have to send, you know, mails out and yeah. spammy mails and DMs and you're not hustling, it'll all start coming to you. And this is what and this is what what four months in are we? Three? Yeah, three, four months, yeah. Not yeah. not long. Um but so how how is business different then for I mean you were pretty much starting up your business, weren't you? When well, I'd, I'd, I'd had I'd had some clients, but I think I was um, I had been doing consultancy, you know, for on and off for a couple of years, and I already had some clients, but I was probably just working too hard, if that makes any sense. I well, mean, obviously, I like working hard, but you know, I, I was I was just working too hard. So the difference it's made is my. I can I, I can still do what I was doing before and I will if the client is right and they ask me to. I probably can be a little bit more choosy if that, yeah. makes, that doesn't sound too bad. So I, I know as well that I can I can I can change what I do to earn the money that I need without working so hard. So it's made me feel it's made me think about what you call your offering, you know, how are you going to structure what you're trying to sell to people so that you're not just going by me, by me, and I'll do anything. Just, just, yes. you know, 
<laughs> it's I'm now going, well, this is what I can do and I can do it this way or that way. And if I do it this way, I need to do it this many times in order to, to earn what I want to do. Or if I do it that way, I might need to do it 10 times more. Or if I yeah. do it the other way, I might need to do, I, I'll only need to do it 10 times less. So it's made me really think about, you know, how I want to work and how it's going to work best for me and therefore how clients are going to get be the best of me as well. Absolutely. And that, that is music to my ears because that is exactly <laughs> what this program was designed to do was help people maximize their income, get great results for their clients, feel fulfilled, you know, cause this is yeah. so important. Build, build it. We talk about a lifestyle business, don't we? In the, the program, yeah. not, sitting on a beach, but but building a, a, a business that, you know, creates this life you want um, so that you don't have to work as hard, you don't have to work as many hours, but you're still getting the rewards, the financial rewards, the helping people. So yeah. that is, job done, brilliant. Music to my <laughs> <laughs> um, would, would you Would you recommend it? Would you recommend Sales Made Simple? And if you would, yeah, um, terrible. why would you? Yeah, load, load of rubbish. Awesome. <laughs> Rubbish. Of course, I would recommend it. Yeah, for all the reasons that we've been talking about, of course, I would recommend it. And and not only would I, I do all the time. You know, oh. my husband says he's fed up of hearing me say, Helen says, Helen says. Um, <laughs> um, and because now it's so obvious, you know, why didn't I know any of this before? Why Why didn't I think like this before? So absolutely, I'd recommend it. And, you know, I, I mean, it's it's not only for women I know that but I mean you know the group that I'm in is, is all women and that that brings some it's how to explain it that's that's helpful I think mm. because we're all very relatable but I also know an awful lot of men who <laughs> need to you know understand well, what you're they talking about to join us yeah, if you don't want to change the dynamic as well you know but yeah I would totally recommend that everybody should go through anybody trying to run a business anybody who trying needs to get themselves because we all get those messages on LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever saying do this and you can you know earn 50,000 pounds in the first three months and all of that and you know you didn't do that you just and you know sometimes you tell us off you don't hold back <laughs> you know you you tell it as it is and you make it real and realistic and and therefore achievable yeah so I mean, it's not it's not chasing the golden you know yeah. whatever you have golden I, I always use this um i don't know if it's an example or whatever but i remember watching uh bear with me i remember watching a documentary <laughs> on celine dion and she was i think her husband was a manager and she yeah. was telling everybody that she'd said to her husband um it just get me a hit get me a hit record i just want a hit record and he was like uh, Celine, slow down. You don't want a hit record. You want a career, and that yeah. has always stuck with me because I'm like, you don't just want the, your next sale. You want yeah. to build a sustainable business that just generates clients, yeah. just generates income, and that's why I don't go for the, you know, that's why I'm really honest. I'm like, it's, it's going to take time. Yeah. It's not you're not going to do this in the first three months. Um, it's going to take time. It's going to take time to build and gather momentum. But so that's why I. I'm always, you know, when I'm doing my telling off bit, I'm like, right, I'm northern, I'm direct, I'm just going to tell you how it is. <laughs> Away we go. <laughs> but that's that's what you need. And also the other thing, you know, if I can pick out the little Helen gems, that things that you've said, you know, you asked me about fears earlier on, and I think we all want people to like us, don't we? And you know, as well as think we're really good, we all want to be liked. And just saying something as simple as as, do you know what? You're not not always going to be everybody's cup of tea, but that's fine because there's plenty of other. Uh, there's plenty of other clients out there and there's enough for everybody. Yeah. That kind of made me go, oh, that's all right. You know, yeah. that's okay. I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea and that's fine. So it's very liberating, isn't it? Once you just start yeah. living like that, going, yeah, not everyone's going to like me. I don't, want I don't like everybody yeah. myself. You know, yeah. It's, yeah. it's human nature. It's just how we are. But yeah. um, I remember as well, you said, I think it was your husband that had said, um, only a few weeks in, and it really stuck with me that um, she, you, he could tell you were on this program because you were starting to like your business. Have I got? He said, what, yeah, what he said is you're falling back in love with it. That was it. Because I was I was really starting to think it was just 
a gr- you know a, it was a drudge it was hard work it was oh, you know this again what am I going to do and and all of a sudden I got the sparkle back and I I started to I started to really enjoy what I was doing again but I'm also I also enjoy this process now okay you could say fundraising is a little bit like sales so probably this is where I get my you know my hit of dopamine so when you know something works but yeah the, so combine the two things together for me and yeah I he saw the difference that I was definitely starting I'd, I'd fallen back in love with it which is great love that I'm going to use that as a quote Carol has <laughs> fallen back in love with her business oh no and that's what we when we talk about you know I think when I brought up this idea of you know creating this lifestyle business people immediately think oh it's about drinking cocktails on a beach mm. and I'm like, no 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 this is about building a business so that you can have the life that you want um and when we talk about having the life that you want join work because you know we, yes. we, you know we, we spend a lot of our time at work um we've got to enjoy it and I really pity people who um you know it's oh it's Sunday night and oh god it's work tomorrow and you know we've gone holiday and oh god well we're you know, back to reality yeah. I'm like, oh god don't be living for the weekends don't be living yeah. um just for the, that two-week holiday um you know love what you do and and what is it Richard Brown says love what you do and you never work a day but it's yeah. true it's yeah. you've got you've got to enjoy yeah. what you do for the majority of the time so that That's really stuck me that really stuck me what um this is a last little parting bit of, of, of wisdom what advice would you give to you know a woman in business who's maybe not where they want to be right now from a sales perspective or business perspective what advice would you give somebody in that situation i i think well obviously obviously i would say be realistic okay as you keep telling us it's not going to happen overnight and it's probably not going to happen for the first three months. So make sure that you, you've you given yourself the, you know, maybe you've got a bit of income put aside that's going to pay the bills for those three months so that you're not panicking. Because if you don't, you're going to you're going to panic and you're going to drop it. And you want to be able to invest yourself completely and commit to, to this. Otherwise, you'll always wonder, what if, I, if only, what if I'd done that properly? So be realistic. Make sure you've got your you know your emergency fund in place to keep you going for those first couple of months and um invest in yourself so obviously do sales made simple with helen walker (laughs) because because that and you know it's finding your tribe as well find those people who are going to encourage you and who are going to support you through the journey because it's not it's not the easiest one and you know we all want the we all want the lifestyle that comes with making you know the whatever the figure is we've decided we want every month but it's it's probably not going to happen straight away and then there's the other bits that you're going to need to think about you know like like paying tax and the, the tech and you know that that you need to do but don't be over don't be over afraid don't don't get stressed about them because you know it's easy to learn how. And I think that was the other thing that you you always said is don't let the tech be the excuse why you don't do it, Carol, because it was always my excuse. You know, I'll yeah. do it because I don't know how to do it. We'll find yeah. out or yeah. I'll show you. It's not that hard. Just do it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, just hold your nose and jump, really, because if you don't, you will always regret it. You will always wonder what would have happened if you had. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, Carol, thank you so much for sharing all no this worries. and all of your experience. Where can we find out more about what you do? Okay, so um, my website is carolgalanders.com or LinkedIn. Look at me on LinkedIn and just get in touch. Perfect. And what I'll do as well is put the um, all of your links to your LinkedIn and everything. We'll put them in the comments so people can just access you from there. But Carol, thank you so much for your time. It has no been worries. a pleasure working with you and I cannot wait to see what the next chapter has in store because I know you you are somebody who gives it your all you are somebody who just you know takes the advice and runs with it and you, you know the benefits are are showing so what's next is is I can't wait to see it so thank you so much <laughs> no thank you Helen really appreciate it thanks for all your support oh, you're very welcome